Hey, what's up, guys? This is a uh, quick video to show you how to change the uh, root password on your iPhone. As many of you probably already know, because it's well known, well documented that the default username is root and the password is Alpine. And if you use SSH for WinCHP or Total Commander to, you know, move files to and from your computer to your iPhone, uh, you know, directly onto the device without using iTunes, that you have to have SSH. And in order to SSH, you have to have those passwords. Problem with that is, it, that is there is a vulnerability. You may have seen an article online on Google um, saying that there were some uh, hackers in France that were actually hacking into people's iPhones who left SSH enabled and didn't change their their password and they left it at root and Alpine. Basically, what was going on is um, they were hacking people's iPhones and changing their wallpaper to where it said something along the lines of you know your device has been hacked because uh, the iPhone is very vulnerable you know see here to have it unlocked and basically it took you to PayPal where you had to pay uh, a small fee to get the steps on how to fix uh, what the hacker had done now uh, they've since uh, stopped doing this and did not take any money and apologized and just stated that they were trying to show the vulnerability of the iPhone uh, so basically this is just a real quick video to show you how to try to you know reduce that risk now it's always gonna be possible where there's a will there's a way everybody knows that but this will help you reduce the risk so the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done so is go into Cydia and you're gonna to want to install mobile terminal so just do a search and the easiest way is just to type in terminal and there you'll see it now what you want to do is you'll want to click install on yours up here that was just a real quick error with Cydia don't pay any attention to that but you want to hit install mine's already installed so that's why you see modify so you want to hit install after you do that you're going to want to go to the mobile terminal and you're going to launch that okay and the first thing you're going to see is this screen right here now the first thing you want to type in there is S as in Sam U as an umbrella and hit return it's going to prompt you for your password so at that time what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to enter uh, your current password which we said is Alpine now in my case it's not Alpine so um, I'm going to type in what my current password is but in your case uh, if you haven't changed it it's going to be Alpine okay so then once you enter in your password you'll see this on your screen alright and then what you want to do after that is you are actually you're going to type in password but it's not actually spelled out it's spelled P A S S W D and then hit return it's gonna prompt you for a new password and at this time what you'll go ahead and do is you're going to type in whatever you want your new password to be alright after you enter in your password it's then going to prompt you to retype your password so then you'll go ahead and retype uh, your password to confirm is correct alright and then once you retype the password you'll then get back to this screen where it shows iPhone boot pardon me iPhone var mobile root and that's how you know you've changed your password go ahead and tap on the screen and then you're gonna hit exit hit yes to go ahead and exit out of that and then go back to the main screen and then after that, what you're going to want to do is, is test it. The easiest way to do that is with uh, Win uh, SCP is to go ahead and uh, try to connect to that with your new uh, password. So I'll go ahead and pull that up for you real quick. And now basically for this part, what you're going to do is leave it at uh, SFTP. For host name, what you do is you're actually going to put your, uh, your IP address for your Wi-Fi. So what you'll do is go to settings, tap on Wi-Fi, and then you'll tap on the little blue arrow here and that will show you your IP address now of course I'm not gonna do that uh, but you'll input your IP address here and then once you put your IP address there then you'll put the username which is still root and then you'll enter in whatever it is the, the password was that you created and then you'll go ahead and you'll you'll try to connect so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick so that way uh, you can see what this looks like alright and there you have it I put in my uh, IP address, my username which is root, and my password, and then I hit login. And as you can see, I am in my iPhone via Wi-Fi using Win uh, SCP.
go into my stash, go into my themes, and you can see some of my custom themes that I made. Uh, and pretty much that's it. So uh, it's real easy to do, as you can see. There is, a, I think, an online tutorial with screenshots on how to do this, but I couldn't actually find a video on how to do it. Uh, my iPhone is a, which it should work on any jailbroken iPhone. Uh, it shouldn't matter which one it is if you have the most current firmware. But pretty much uh, my iPhone is iPhone 3GS with the uh, latest firmware, uh, 3.1.2. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use, pretty easy to change. And this will help to reduce your risk of your device being hacked. Now, it's not going to completely prevent it, so please don't think I'm saying that. But this will greatly reduce your risk. So thank you very much. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.